Good day, grade 10 students. Welcome to another asynchronous session for our bridging program. Today's lesson is about direct and reported speech. First, we are going to identify two ways to convey a message which are direct and reported speech. Then, we will identify words that change when transforming direct to reported speech such as pronouns, time words, and place words. With these topics, we aim to be able to recognize the difference between direct and reported speech. Going back to our work plan, we will first identify two ways to convey a message. Here are sample sentences for the two ways of conveying a message. Sir Reginald Hargreaves said, Our world is changing, is an example of conveying the direct speech of the speaker. This way, make use of the exact words of the speaker. Therefore, the words are enclosed in quotation marks. On the other hand, we don't enclose the message in quotation marks for reported speech. Sir Reginald Hargreaves said, Our world is changing. In reported speech, we don't necessarily have to use the exact words of the speaker, but rather, we use words that will show that we are just conveying something that was said by someone. Because of this, there might be changes with the verb tense, pronoun, time, and place words when transforming direct to reported speech. But take note that we should still ensure that we keep the real message. Example, Sir Reginald Hargreaves said, Our world is changing. Here's another example for direct and reported speech. Direct speech. Ben and the others dance to the beat, said Pogo. When transforming this to reported speech, it will be, Pogo said that Ben and the others danced to the beat. As you have observed, the reporting clause in the direct speech is placed at the end of the direct statement. Reporting clauses can be placed before or after the direct speech. But as per reported speech, the speaker and the introductory verb is placed at the beginning of the reported speech. Another change that we can see in this set is the verb tense. Simple present tense was used in the direct speech. It was then turned to simple past in the reported speech. Let's have an example. Direct speech, 5 said, Vanya, do not test me right now. The reporting clause is placed before the direct speech. When turned to reported speech, this direct speech will be 5 told Vanya not to test him that time. So what are the words that changed? The verb do not test was changed to not to test. The direct speech is an imperative sentence. It gives an order to Vanya not to test 5 that time. Therefore, the verb must be changed to an infinitive. Another change that we can notice is the pronoun me to him. Lastly, the time word right now was changed to that time. Since we report something that has already happened, we cannot use the same time word used in the direct speech. Another example. Allison shouted, I heard a rumor. When transforming this to reported speech, it will be, Allison shouted, she had heard a rumor. The verb tense and pronoun were changed. As you have observed for the examples in the direct and reported speech, introductory words like say and shouted are used. The three most used introductory verbs are say, tell, and ask. For example, five ask who has eaten his peanut butter marshmallow sandwich. The reporting verb asked is used because the direct speech is an interrogative sentence. In the reported speech, Klaus said that he did not even finish his own peanut butter marshmallow sandwich. This is a statement or a declarative sentence. Therefore, the introductory verb said can be used. In the sentence, Vanya told five she'll make him another sandwich, made use of the introductory verb told since the one spoken to was included in the speech. Reporting verbs like ask, say, and tell are words used to report what other people have spoken or written. These words give great effect on reported speech. The emotion of the original speaker can be determined by the reporting verb used. 
Other reporting verbs are advise, agree, challenge, claim, decide, demand, encourage, invite, offer, persuade, promise, refuse, remind, admit, apologize for, complain about, deny, insist on, mention, and suggest. In the direct speech, it is good to write everything on a journal, said Ben. We can use the reporting verb advised since this statement is an advice from Ben to his siblings. So the reported speech is, Ben advised his siblings to write everything on a journal. Look at this direct speech. I'm sorry for not listening to you, Pao said. This statement is an apology. Therefore, we can use the reporting verb apologized for when transforming the sentence to direct speech. The reported speech is, Klaus apologized for not listening to Ben. Aside from reporting verbs, other words must also be changed when transforming direct to reported speech. These words may change depending on the context. These words are pronouns, place words, and time words. Notice the change in pronouns in the given examples. In the direct speech, Diego said, I am a real man. The pronoun I will be changed to he in the reported speech. Diego said he is a real man. Same way goes with this example. In the direct speech, I have visited your place, number 5 told Allison. The pronoun I will be changed to he and the noun Allison to her. Reported speech is, number 5 told Allison he had visited her place. Here is the list of pronoun changes from direct to reported speech. Notice the changes from the direct to reported speech, except from the pronouns, the place and time words were also changed. In the direct speech, Detective Eudora asked Diego, Were you here last week? The place word is here, and the time word is last week. In the reported speech, Detective Eudora asked Diego if he had been there the previous week. The place word was changed from here to there, and the time word was changed from last week to previous week. Let us look at another example. Lila said, I'll talk to you now. When transformed to reported speech, it will be, Lila said she would talk to him then. The pronoun I was changed to she. The time word now was changed to then. Here is the list of time words that are changed from direct to reported speech. Here is a list of place word changes from direct to reported speech. When the direct speech is an interrogative sentence, the interrogative particle who, what, when, where, why, and how serves as a link between the reported verb and reported question. Let's look at the example. Grace asked Pogo, when do you want to get back? The interrogative particle in the direct speech is the word when. This will then be used as the link between the reported verb and the reported question in the reported speech. Grace asked Pogo when he wanted to get back. The reported words are introduced by if or whether when reporting a question answerable by yes or no. The verb ask can be used with or without a personal object. In the direct speech, Hazel asked, Would you like to visit your brother? It will be, Hazel asked if she would like to visit her brother, when transformed to reported speech. That's it for today's discussion. I hope that you are now able to identify direct and reported speech and are able to apply the changes of words when transforming direct speech to reported speech. Thank you for watching and see you in our synchronous class.